We are definitely still with this crocodile and they've managed to dismember the young wildebeest calf. Not much left of it, I'm afraid. They've swallowed it in a couple of large chunks. But what it has done is it's attracted a lot of attention from other crocodiles around. And that's what normally happens, is that any sort of splashing and commotion attracts attention from other crocodiles. And as soon as you have one or two or more crocodiles in the area, and then of course as soon as you have any blood in the water, then the crocodiles have an epic fight about this. Now I'm hoping that it's not completely finished to be honest. I really, really want to show you what these crocodiles are doing. I'm busy having a look and scanning around and seeing exactly what is going on over here. They tend to take things quite easily, these crocs. I must be honest with you, they don't not much rush in their lives. Sumans, so, you've asked me if crocodiles attack anything or do they, you know, what, 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 do they attack everything? Yes, they will attack anything. Anything that they think that they can catch and kill and overpower, they will tackle. And I have seen pictures of even of crocodiles even taking on elephant and grabbing their trunks under the water, but I haven't seen that with my own, my own eyes, to be honest with you. The biggest thing that I've seen these crocodile take is a full-grown wildebeest and a full-grown zebra, which is substantial. You're looking at 500 pounds of animal there without even blinking an eye. And some of these crocodiles are far, far bigger than that. I watched a crocodile here in this particular pond um, dive on top of a zebra, a full-grown zebra, and he absolutely swamped the zebra. Now we've got a crocodile come in. Okay, that's what we want to see. Ah, oh, there's got some meat there, obviously. Crocodiles come out of the water to swallow because they haven't got an epiglottis. There's still the leg of this wildebeest. There we go. There we go. They're spinning around. Awesome. That is how they dismember the carcasses. And we've got a couple of crocodiles here now. And let's see what type of fight goes on. Lots of splashing as they spin around. There we go. Coming out and gulping down some of this wildebeest carcass. Obviously, the softer parts go first. The... Uh, the insides, intestines, and then they will start to dismember the larger joints and swallow them down whole. And crocodiles have got a very strong tummy acid. I don't think it's much stronger than ours. I think it's a slightly lower pH. But they are able to digest bone and horn and hair and everything. And uh, so, oh, just look at that. Isn't that the most terrifying thing that you could ever imagine happening to you? Being devoured by one of these... As I mentioned to you that although at times they can actually be very active feeders and very active predators, for the most part they're actually super considerate about one another. They're deeply respectful for large crocodiles. They don't care much for younger crocodiles or smaller crocodiles. And yeah, what's happening there? He's got some movement underneath the water again. Just get the all spinning. Now, Bree, Bree you wanted to know if crocodiles come, when they come from underneath the water, do they stun their prey? Here comes a big guy now. There's going to be some, some, uh, some excitement here. Uh, Bree, Bree I, whew, good question. I've only seen crocodiles attack from the water, attack from straight up, and attack basically out of the water onto the bank, and from next to and in front of. Um, yeah, this big crocodile is coming. Look at this now. Lots of rolling around, lots of rolling around. So, Bribi, just to finish that, while we're busy looking at this, no, I don't think they stun their prey so much as just jump on top of it. Oh, look at this now. Big crocodiles coming in. Now, he'll dominate, or he will dominate the kill. Look at that. Turns it away, swallows it almost whole. Everything else, all the smaller crocodiles coming in for some morsels now, trying to get a little bit. All the females as well. Big crocodile just dominates it. And thank you very much. I'll have the rest of your dinner. One just swallowing a little bit extra, uncontested, as you can see. Well, I say that and then have a look at what happens here. Tell you, it's the same thing I should never think. How terrifying is that? Not much left of this wildebeest. Let's see what happens over here. As you can see, swimming with their tails, but also with their legs in this part. Here we go. And what we might see here is this big guy. How big do you think that is? That's a wildebeest calf, which is about as big as a German Shepherd, a large German Shepherd. And Bobby, you wanted to know if, well, you've made a comment, wow, will crocodiles fight each other over food? Absolutely. 
The youngsters here, they'll try and get, get a mouthful while they can, while the jaws of this big guy are full. But you just imagine that snapping, there we go, fighting some more. The big guy trying to keep, the, keep everyone away from his kill. It's his food, no one else's. Come on, guys. Don't give up that easily. I mean, his mouth is full. All his teeth are busy. Here come some more crocodiles. This might make it even more interesting. Let's see what goes on here. So the big guy is now off to the left hand, off to the right hand side. Excuse me, he's under the water. These two may have a bit of a scrap of something that is that they're hanging on to. Let's see what happens over here. Now what they quite often do is hold on to a piece of meat, and then. You get more and more and more of them coming in, and eventually one will try and flip off a piece and swallow it. Sinak, you wanted to know if there's any dominance amongst crocodiles. Sinak, absolutely. The biggest crocodile gets everything that he wants, but there are lots of big crocodiles in a pool, and quite often you'll find that there's a, there's a dominance display that goes on. I, I find it more posturing than anything else. Um, but you will find big crocodiles posturing next to other crocodiles, and I think that it's very subtle. I actually think that there's a, we, we don't know enough about crocodiles' language, to be honest with you. It's one of the things that I'm looking forward to most about these, these, uh, whoa, that was a fish. So the feeding has created bits and pieces of food in the water, and that was one fish jumping away from either another predator underneath the water, or it's just getting very excited. What's going on here? Okay, we've got a hippo. We've got a crocodile angling across the water. What's going on? What have we got here? Crocodile making his way, investigating something. What is this? Oh, it's a crocodile carrying the rest of that carcass. So now coming in. Big crocodile that. Look how fast they can swim. Under the water. Let's see if this big crocodile now picks up speed or turns away, what are you going to do? Carrying his bits and carrying his prize away. Can you have a look at how fast this water is actually flowing? This is on the inside curve of the river where the velocity of the water should actually be much lower than on the outside curve. And you can see that wake that the crocodile is making. Now in all the adventure stories that I ever read as a kid and whenever there was a crocodile chasing somebody, they always talked about this wake that a crocodile makes just before it attacks a person. Let's see what's going on over here. Still fighting. Excuse me, was my camera work? <laughs> Much to Jean-Dre's horror at what's going on right here. No, it looked like it got away. No, they're both hanging on to this uh, particular piece now. Now trying to walk it out onto the opposite bank. Yep, they're both there. Now, what's going to happen when they get into the shallows? What are we going to see here? Some mouse birds. Massive crocodiles. They're snapping at each other. Are you going to spin? Nope. Losing, a smaller one losing its temper. Larger one trying to angle it away. Coming in, some big crocodiles now coming in, looking like another huge fight going on. We might see some spinning over the top. Wow. Now, no wonder these crocodiles, he's got the whole wildebeest in his face. That's amazing. Now, wonder these crocodiles look like their jaws are, or their faces sometimes are so scarified. He was spraying mud up everywhere. Shame, that wildebeest is having a bad day. But that is just part of it. These crocodiles also need to eat, obviously. And if there was, if these wildebeests were left to uh, to breed without any of this type of predation on them, then there wouldn't be any grass left, and there wouldn't be any bush left for us to maintain, basically. And so this is all just the circle of life. Don't forget, I'm not making fun of it. This is all just part of part of it. Another crocodile now coming in. Another monster of a crocodile into the shallows, ripping at each other. I uh, see these two crocodiles are pretty much the same size, the one on the right and the one on the left, both these green-headed monsters. I thought there was just one green-headed monster here, but it looks like there's two or possibly even three. Okay, now we've got four crocodiles, their faces next to each other. Let's see what they do. Let's see how aggressive they will get with one another. Oh, man, that is terrifying. So obviously the smaller one there is a female. She's coming in. 
There doesn't seem to be much aggression towards her. There's no doubt in my mind that these big crocodiles will... Here comes another green-headed monster. Well, there goes my theory about there only being one massive green-headed crocodile in this pond. They all get this algae growth on them as they get a little bit older. Another crocodile coming in. And that is exactly what happens is another crocodile coming in. How many crocodiles have we got here? One, two, three, four, five crocodiles that we can see. All the gigantic river monsters. These are all crocodiles way over 10 feet, possibly even close to 2,000 pounds each. Oh, this is insane. Now, Mandy, you wanted to know if crocs keep a stash of food underwater. Mandy, um, yes, in a way. Well, look at the size of that crocodile on the left-hand side. In a way, yes, Mandy. Crocodiles really only enjoy eating... Uh, oh, here we got... Now, the feeding frenzy starts. It's each of these trying to get a piece of this wildebeest, snapping it down, putting their head out of the water so that they don't gulp too much water and sand and mud into their bellies, going back into the fray, biting into some meat, spinning around getting a piece off and then trying to swallow it. Look at that. Oh, there's the head on the left-hand side. Crocodile's got his prize. Turns away, he's managed to dismember it. Now he'll try and make a getaway with everything else, trying to get it from him. Just look at the size of this guy. No, younger one can't catch him. Into the deeper water. Try and head him off over there. Yo. Ali, you wanted to know if baby crocodiles fight with each other? Absolutely, Ali. Uh, shame, you know, up until a point, up until crocodiles are probably over about three or four feet, there is, whoop, excuse me, that was just my excitement. Up until crocodiles get to about three or four feet, they actually battle to stay not being eaten by something. Lots and lots of baby crocodiles get eaten, not only by their own kind, but also by almost every other aquatic predator that you find out here. And it is a bit of a pity. Um, but once they get over a certain size, they do, not, um, they do not prey on one another anymore. But it may just be the fact that they are the competition amongst them. And if they do get injured by one another, it's intraspecific competition rather than cannibalism. Wow, that was one of the most exciting feeding frenzies that I've seen in a long time. And I'm glad that we could share it with you. Anyway... Back to Noelle, who's actually on an interview drive, and uh, we need to see what she's got up her sleeve for us.